Hey Gemini, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are ya? Happy October, everybody. Yay, October. The leaves are blowing. The air is chilly. Uh, apple cider everywhere. Pumpkins everywhere. I love it. So happy October. Um, this is an awesome reading, Gemini. This is a good reading. If you are looking for love, this is the place to be. This is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Um, this is not your reading. If you're binge watching tarot and you're listening to this, I'm here to tell you this is not your reading. This is a thread that could be in the fabric of your life, but everybody's story is different. Everybody's journey is unique and individual, and I can guarantee this is not your reading. If you would like more insight, wisdom, understanding, um, comprehension of what this means for you in your particular journey, you can contact me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below, or reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get your cards read, okay? All right, Gemini, you enter into this reading with the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Somebody is in touch with their emotions, they're in touch with their intuition, and they're about to share it with you. Somebody is bringing you an offer of feelings. The Ace of Discs, they want to manifest a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning with you. To the Prince of Discs, this is um, slow moving energy. Hold on. <coughs> This is slow moving energy, right? Slow moving energy, what's going on here? Slow moving energy. To the magician in reverse. This tells me, this talks about untapped talents, okay? Untapped talents to the moon, struggling with your subconscious mind. And again, to the knight of pentacles or the prince of discs, right? Same card. This is, again, slow moving energy. So what this tells me, Gemini, is that you already know this person, right? You already know this person and it has been a long time coming with the Prince of Discs to the Prince of Discs, right? It has been a long time coming. It's very slow energy because this guy's job is to survey the kingdom, right? This guy's job as a knight, he is in charge of walking the fence line. He's in charge of making sure the fences are tight, the crops are growing, the workers are working. Um, everybody has the resources that they need, right? He, he projects into the future to see what it is that he needs to implement to get things done. That's his job. It's a slow job. It's a very slow job. It's a huge kingdom and it's a slow job. That's why his energy is slow. That's why this card for me as a reader is about A, looking into the future and B, slow energy. So slow, right? This is the same guy. It's the same card, just different decks, right? This is the Thoth deck. This is the Rider Waite. So this energy right here is slow. So this person is coming in with an offer of feelings. They want a new beginning with you and it's taken them a long time to get here, a long time to get here. The magician in reverse talks about untapped talents, right? This is about never being able to tap in to this person to see if this is even worth getting to know them or not. It's somebody that's been at a distance, perhaps somebody that's never come forward with their feelings. Somehow, some way, you don't know a lot about this person, okay? You don't know a lot about this person. You know them, but you don't know a lot about them. To the moon card, that's what leads you into your subconscious mind, right? Struggling with your subconscious mind, fear, anxiety, intuition, right? You're trying to get a handle on this person, you're trying to get a handle on this person. You don't know them very well. It's taken them a long time to get to where they are with sharing their feelings with you, and you don't know them very well. Hence, the Knight of Pentacles, right? Just don't know them enough to be able to look down the road to see if it's something that you would like to bring into your future or not. 
truce. Just that, right? It is a truce. Um, this is the Three of Swords in the Thoth deck, and this is about um, bringing a truce to the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration, right? This is you agreeing in yourself, Gemini. Eh, why not? Why not give it a go? Why not? That's what this is. It's you going, eh, why not? <laughs> to the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe there is something bankable here. Maybe there is something that I can build a future on. Maybe there is something that can create wealth, establishment, family, future, foundation. Maybe there is. Right? Maybe there is. Because Gemini is like, meh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> I can just see my mom doing that. My mom's a Gemini. I can just see her like, I don't even know this guy. I don't even know him. I haven't talked to him in, in a year. I talked to him for like a little time on an online dating site and then he disappeared. I disappeared. We haven't talked to each other in forever. And now we show him back up again saying that he wants to, uh, you know, get together and, and, and maybe try to create something with one another. I don't even know who this guy is, but meh, what the hell? I could just see it. It's hilarious. If you only knew. To the lover's card, right? This is creating a love situation. It is, it's values alignment, right? It's creating a love situation. Check this out. To the nine of discs in this deck, it's called gain, right? Gain. What are you gaining? You are gaining a brand new cycle in your life. This is opening the door for a brand new life cycle, putting a period at the end of the last letter of the previous chapter, turning the page and writing a brand new chapter in a love relationship. The Queen of Discs. This is in the center of your reading. This Queen of Discs or the Queen of Pentacles is about you assessing your personal security, right? It's about you weighing the pros and cons. It's about you um, deciding that you are going to go forward in this whole thing. This Queen of Discs or the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that uses a great vigilance in their decision-making process, right? They have a, a, an, an immense amount of discernment. They're very careful, they're very methodical, very, very plotting, very practical about the decisions that they make in their life. And this is you, right? This is you assessing the situation and making sure that this is something that you want to do. Security, personal security, right? To the fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. Preparing to take a quantum leap, Gemini, preparing to take a quantum leap in a brand new love relationship to the universe. This is the world card. This is again, same card as this. I don't know if you can see it. There's a glare. The world, it's the same card, right? Universe, world, same card. It means closing out a cycle and starting a brand new cycle in a love relationship. True. True. The freaking chariot. Rolling on out. Rolling on out. Locomotion, right? It's just like Ben-Hur in the chariots, right? Get going started slow right? But man, when those horses get, get going, there ain't no stopping them. You better just step aside because you're going to get run over, right? This is forward motion, taking action to move into your future. <gasps> but lo and behold, Jim, we have strife, tension, conflict. What is this about? Strife, tension, conflict. This is the five of wands in the Thoth deck. Strife, strife, tension, and conflict. Strife. Why? Why? Well, here's why. Because you need to speak your truth. You need to speak your truth, Gemini, the queen of swords, Gemini. You need to speak your truth, which you have no problem doing. Trust me. Like I said, my mom's a Gemini. No problem speaking the truth there. Okay, so you need to speak your truth about renewal, 
about the renewal of this relationship, about having hope, having faith, having purpose. What are we doing? What are we doing? What's the goal? What's the end game here? What is the goal? Do you just want to have sex? Do you want to just have a recreation buddy? Do you want to just be able to go shoot some pool and eat dinner every now and then? Or do you want a genuine love relationship? That's the truth that you need to speak. That's what's causing the strife in you, Gemini. That's what's causing the strife is because there is a, a lot of unknown variables here. And unknown variables don't sit well with the Gemini. Geminis want to know what the fuck is up. And that's what you're doing right here, right? To the Page of Swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? And remember, you had kind of a go-round with this person once before. Whether something made of it or not, I don't know, right? But you did have a go-round with this person once before, in a small kind of way, I think. And it didn't make, right? Somebody ghosted somebody or you guys went out a couple times and it just kind of fizzled out. And, you know, neither one of you put forth any effort and now they're back, right? This card, this page of swords in reverse is about all talk, no action. It's about um, put up or shut up, fish or cut bait, piss or get off the pot, right? That's what Gemini wants to know. What are your intentions with me in this situation? To the Queen of Cups. Because, damn it, my feelings are on, on the table. My feelings are at stake. And I, I am, um, I just need to know. I need to know the truth about what your intentions are in this relationship so I know how to proceed with myself because my feelings are at stake. Hangman, right? thinking about this, processing, thinking about it and processing everything. Hold on a second. Thinking about it, processing it. Yeah, right on. Okay. Thinking about it, <laughs> processing it. I think I've said that four times. Um, this is you not doing anything. You are, you are, you are simply digesting this whole thing right here, right? Simply digesting this whole thing. I can't tell if you actually reach out with this Queen of Swords to get some solid answers about things or if it's something that you just want to do, right? But nevertheless, you are digesting this entire situation right here. To the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups right? Because there is, number one, soulmates, right? King of Cups and <laughs> King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I mean, it doesn't get any more gooey than that, right? I mean, you've got the King of Love and the Queen of Love, for God's sakes. I mean, this is like, this is like, like sticky gum love, right? <laughs> so, Lots of feelings at stake, right? Lots of things on the line. You want to make sure that you go into this in a very emotionally balanced, emotionally controlled way. Fairness and honesty is at the forefront of your motivation here, Gem. Fairness and honesty. You just want to make sure that this is worth your time and effort. Because... In the past, there has been cruelty. In the past, this is the Nine of Swords for the Thoth deck. It's called Cruelty. And I think that's just such a good name for the Nine of Swords in general, right? Anxiety, despair, hopelessness, um, cruelty, right? In the, in the mental, cruelty in the mental. In the past, there has been this because whatever happened between the two of you left you feeling like the Nine of Swords, right? Five of Swords in reverse. This talks about um, a little bit of past resentment and uh, but being open to change, right? A little bit of past resentment but being open to change. To the Seven of Pentacles. Um, do you want to invest in this? Reflection and assessment, right? Is this something that 
that your time and effort is going to reap profit and reward from. That's what this card's about. To the Three of Cups, is this going to bring celebration? Is this reuniting going to bring celebration into my life? To the Knight of Wands, answering your own questions, whether it is that you actually reach out or whether it is that you come to this within yourself. You, with this Knight of Wands, take inspired action. You take inspired action to reach out. I want to point out that this Knight of Wands could also indicate that perhaps this person was a player last time around, or perhaps you're a player, Gemini, right? But nevertheless, this card is about taking inspired action. It's about taking passionate action towards somebody. He's a knight. Knight takes action. He's a wand. Wands are about passion, passionate action, okay? So you're going to take some passionate action forward. To the Ace of Wands, to create a brand new, passionate, powerful beginning. Here's where it gets really good. Check this out. What's on the table? The Hierophant. Commitment. The way that you believe about your place in the world. Commitment is on the table. This card is called art. Um, there's no equivalent to it in the in the in the um, major arcana, right? It's a trump card. It's called art. Um, this is a card about having a blank canvas by which to create the life that you want to have. It's a beautiful card. Beautiful card. A blank canvas by which to create the life that you want to have. To the Aeon, right? It took me a minute to figure out how to pronounce this card. To the Aeon, okay? This card is about intentional destruction in order to rebuild. This is the equivalent of the tower, but it's self-imposed, right? Self-imposed. And it is clarified by the Eight of Wands, action and communication, movement action, swift change, communication to the Hierophant. So what this is saying is that this relationship didn't make the first time around because it wasn't supposed to. It wasn't supposed to make the first time around. Somebody had to pull... Um, the rug out from underneath the foundation of everything that they believed about love, life, themselves, commitment, right? Somebody had to intentionally deconstruct their thoughts about commitment in order to be able to rebuild and paint the picture that they want their life to be. Whether it's you or the other person, maybe both of you. But the first time around, this relationship wasn't supposed to go. Both y'all had something to learn about, about yourselves before you could um, be successful in this relationship. And it is what you had to learn was, or either one of you had to learn, was the Hierophant. You had to understand your place in the world. You had to understand what commitment means to you, okay? You had to understand if you were even capable of commitment. Some people aren't, and there's no shame in that. Some people just aren't committed people, right? Some people are just like massively committed people. But you guys had to work something out either individually or um, collectively in the thread, right, of, of the tapestry of, of this whole journey right here, right? About who you are, what your place is in society, and what your belief system is. But lo and behold, look what we have here. We have the Four of Wands. In this deck, this card is called Victory. It means having all of the essential pieces in place to achieve success. 
And that is exactly what I was just talking about. Now, now all of the pieces are in place to achieve success. Now you guys can make a go of this. Ready for the last one? Ready, ready, ready? The sun card, woo! The sun, right? This is happiness, success, vitality. This is the dark skies on a snowy day cracking open and the warm rays of sunshine hitting you and you just going, oh my God, finally, finally, success, vitality, and happiness is coming into your life, Gemini. It's coming. It's coming. So if you see your thread, if you see the thread in the fabric of your life resonating with you in this reading, understand that this journey is your own personal journey. And if you need more information, confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, you need to contact a tarot card reader, somebody that you trust to read your cards for you and tell you what this exactly means for you in your life and your situation. You can reach me in the link in the box below, deepthoughtswithdana.com, or you can reach out to a bazillion different really good tarot card readers that there are, are, that there are on YouTube. Just find somebody that you connect with, somebody that you feel like you can trust and get you a personal tarot card reading it's worth its weight in gold because this is a big deal, Gem. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. I can't wait to show my mom this reading. can't wait to read my mom's cards. <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm so excited for you, Gemini. I'm so excited for you. Um, do drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this video. Like it. Um, if you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, please do. If you're new, welcome to the tribe. You got a good dose of Deep Thoughts with Dana right there. And I do hope that y'all have an amazing October. Namaste.